Um, I'd like to welcome you all here. Um, Hong Kong is, I think, a wonderful city in this world. It was founded um, by a trade that's seeking to trade between east and west, one part of the world and the other. Um, it was uh, rejuvenated after the war um, by um, people seeking freedom from um, a change of regime in China. And uh, that's made a city that's a fine city and a great monument and testament. Sorry, I was right to get in. Um, to um, what freedom can do and what freedom can achieve. So I think it's a wonderful place to have a gathering of people um, who are um, seeking to, in their own countries around the world, promote freedom, promote trade, and promote the exchange of ideas. It's a particularly important time um, in Hong Kong um, on some of these issues. Hong Kong has seen um, progressive change of governments that have increasingly, without something like a popular mandate, um, sought increasingly populist policies to try and create legitimacy, um, perhaps where elections and other things haven't been able to provide. And in the process, we've probably had a deterioration in policy thinking, policy making, um, that has uh, taken us a little bit away from the fine traditions that have created the Hong Kong that there is today. But we know that this isn't just a Hong Kong issue. It's an issue for all of us um, across the world. And we can see it um, in a season where we have a large number of elections and changes of government um, right across the world. And the one that's happening tonight at our time um, in the United States, um, but um, really in many, many countries around the world. And, and the issue of how do you create good policies that promote liberty that entrench the rule of law when this surge of battle for um, power, whether it be at the ballot box or somewhere else, um, is dominating discourse, um, is an extraordinary challenge, I think, um, uh, for all of us. And the topic of the conference today, um, uh, looking at, um, at populism and its impact on policy, um, it is really vital. And obviously in Asia, we've had many countries um, where um, uh, governments have sought um, mass appeal, but often at the expense of good economics, often at the expense of freedom, and often at the expense of the rule of law. And so I think exploring all of these issues is certainly vital for us in Hong Kong to learn from other countries um, where there have been similar experiences. It's vital for us that want to um, see a proper role of government want to maximize um, people's freedom and liberty um, and hopefully the conference today um, will allow us to explore some of these themes. So thank you very much for attending. The Lion Rock Institute is um, very pleased to be working um, with EFN on this conference which they of course um, made a real highlight of the calendar um, across the region year after year but put um, many of us in touch with each other have created a lot of friendships that I think have been extremely productive um, right across the world. I do think that the future of Asia in driving policy in the world forward is becoming more and more important um, as perhaps the Ancien regime um, in some other countries in the world is facing more pressures. Um, but it's particularly helpful to have a sponsor um, of this event from Europe so that we can really uh, drive the world forward towards greater freedom um, and uh, freedom of trade. Thank you very much.